everyone so welcome to this new video i'm here i wanted to show you a new pair of shoes i got more specifically uh chelsea boots and so um yeah i'm excited because i got a new stand to get some better angles with my videography hopefully here you can get a uh, better look at some unboxing and shoe conditioning videos that i make in the future and so as you can see this is a pair of shoes more specifically chelsea boots from a brand called r m williams if you haven't heard of them already, I'm going to go into a bit of uh, the, the company details. So a lot of this information that I have is uh, from a user on Reddit uh, named Having a Rave Up from r slash Goodyear Walt. The company was founded in 1932 by Reginald Murray Williams, R.M. Williams for short, a bushman who learned basic leather crafting from a man named Dollar Mick. And so R.M. didn't seem to find too much success in saddle making and quickly turned to making boots. And today, R. Williams has countless stores in Australia. Uh, their headquarters is located in South Australia. Um, and this is new to me, but in 2013, a large portion of the company was sold to LVMH, uh, which represents the, the uh, high fashion luxury conglomerate um, under uh, Louis Vuitton. Yet R. M. Williams and his family has held on to a majority of the company in order to make sure that quality stays the same and that production stays in Australia. And so above all else, R. Williams is a, is a brand known for making elastic side Chelsea boots. Going more into the technical details of R. Williams boots, uh, each R. Williams boot is made from a single piece of leather, otherwise known as a whole cut Chelsea boot. I couldn't quickly find the advantage of a whole cut Chelsea boot, but I've read that it allows for a better fit after a few wears, and it does look better due to less stitching uh, being evident with different pe with multiple pieces of leather. Comparing these with a pair of five Chelsea boots from Shoe the Bear, I will say though it is tough to compare leather quality as the R. M. Williams uses suede leather and the Shoe the Bear calfskin. The biggest upside, personally for me, is the chiseled vamp of the R. M. Williams. The two vamps of the shoes differ as well, with the R.M. Williams having a more full looking vamp. You can see the difference in design between the two shoes, uh, especially in the back heel. This is a side note, but I would recommend Shoe the Bear uh, for those looking to experiment with Chelsea boots while not trying to break the bank with brands such as uh, SLP and even um, Story at Fall. While my boots are made with a single piece of Italian suede leather, R. Williams does offer exotic leather such as yearling, which is year old calf, um, kangaroo, and even camel leather. For the most part, R. Williams Chelsea boots feature leather soles, um, but this Chelsea boot that you see here features their comfort sole. It's a co composite rubber sole that's as, uh, as thick as a leather sole, and so these are, are supposed to be more comfortable than your traditional leather sole. R.M. Williams are made using a Goodyear Walt, uh, which is a long-lasting method of, of footwear production. Um, the details get pretty nitty-gritty, but just know that the benefits of a Goodyear Walt to chew uh, include a sole that can be completely re replaced without damaging the upper. So that's why you see these um, high-quality leather shoes using this um, nice leather upper so that they won't need to be replaced or damaged after changing the sole after, after months or years of wear. Also, there are improvements in water resistance compared to shoes made with uh, a traditional, let's say, Blake stitch uh, shoe construction. The story with my sh my shoes, uh, these shoes, uh, is that I've been on the lookout for a pair of tobacco or snuff suede Chelsea boots for a while, and these came at a perfect time. I was doing my hourly check on r slash frugal male fashion and noticed that there was a sale on some R. William boots on Nor Nordstrom for over half off. So these boots ended up costing me $200 before tax, which is an amazing price for all R.M. Williams new. For those looking out for a pair of their own R.M. Williams, uh, people have recommended buying them from a retailer called Boots Online. And they sell R.M. Williams for about $100 Australian dollars lower than their usual um, retail price. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm really excited to wear these shoes. Uh, more in the future and um, yeah I was thinking of making a video to go along with this one kind of showing how I would style 
um, these shoes. So let me know if you're interested in that in the comments or, or through direct message. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.